Hello, my friends. Hello, how do you do? I'm hungry. Let's eat. I got food. How about you? <laughs> Okay, y'all. I literally just made that song up in the top of my head. Um, I gotta remember that. Maybe that's a good intro. Why y'all? What y'all think? I have a cantaloupe here, as you guys can see. I know y'all been missing me on this channel. Yes, I have had to get my mind right, first of all, um, to be on this channel because I didn't... I knew what I wanted to do, but I just didn't know how. I didn't know... I knew how. I mean, all you gotta do is eat. I, I wanted this channel to be a mukbang originally a long time ago. Like... It's been a couple years now. When I first started this channel, and I told Thick Chick, Thick Chick Vlogs, my sister from another mister, that I wanted to do the eating thing because we used to watch a lot of mukbangs and everything. And then all of a sudden, mukbangs come out of nowhere. Ain't that something? Ain't that something? That is crazy, like for real. But um, yeah, y'all, this is going to be a mukbang channel. I know I used to do vlogs and all of that stuff because I was confused. I didn't know which way to go and all of that stuff. But I'm trying to do something. Um. That's something that's that come naturally, okay? And I want to I y'all messing with a whole knife over here, y'all. So I want to um come on and invite you guys uh to my channel. Welcome to all the new people. And guess what, y'all? Thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. I'm gonna have to do a giveaway, y'all. Check out this bonnet though, y'all. Check me out. I made this bonnet myself for all of you guys who don't know me. I know y'all do by now. Go to creations.webs.com. I will leave the link in the description box below if you want to purchase this bonnet. Okay? Okay, so now we're gonna move on to this here cantaloupe, y'all. I ate the other half yesterday. Well, I ate like um, a third, a quarter. Yeah, I ate a quarter of it yesterday because Scooby wouldn't let me be great and eat my cantaloupe. So, this cantaloupe, I thought it was kind of, like, ripe or whatever, y'all. And it wasn't, like, ready. Because look at the back. If you look at it, you see those wrinkles and stuff. Like, it, it was, I thought it was getting old, so I cut it. And needless to say, it was not getting old. It was good and fresh on the inside because you know how you know when it's not ripe? Uh, uh, too ripe, not too ripe, but not ripe enough, it'd be still kind of hard. So it was kind of hard yesterday, but since I done cut it open, y'all, it wasn't hard, hard, but it was a little harder than I wanted it, okay? So I'm just gonna, um, begin by taking all of this seeds out. If you don't know how to eat a cantaloupe, if you don't eat cantaloupes, this is like one of the best, healthiest fruits out there for you. And, um, uh, you need to get some fruit in your life, okay? So I got my this is my garbage bowl here, okay? So I'm going to scrape the inside of my cantaloupe out. And we're going to get to eating, y'all. Y'all, I know I am not your average person. And that's a good thing, okay? It's not good to be average. And I'm going to tell you, you guys about um, procrastination. We want to talk about procrastination because um, starting this channel was something I started a long time ago. And it, I didn't know what exactly how I wanted to come about. I didn't have my setup right. I didn't have a good table. I didn't have my camera angles. It's hard like when you're a mukbanger to get good camera angles because you got to make sure you got the food in view. And if y'all notice, if y'all notice, uh, y'all probably can see my food a little bit better this time because I finally figured it out. Y'all, look, look, I have proof that I wanted to start a, a mukbang channel a long time ago. I actually went out and bought these bowls. As you can see, it's been a while. It's been about a year now since I bought these bowls, and they all cracked and dingified up. So I think I'm gonna have to go get me some more bowls, um, because I wanted to see through bowls so y'all can see. Yeah, I just procrastinated, y'all, and I wish I would not have, but hey, it is what it is. Um, because I've been through so much, y'all. Y'all already know, you know, cancer treatments, um, uh, the chemo and the radiation and all of that type stuff, um anxiety depression all of that you know it kind of it kind of puts a hold on your life you know when when you're going through some things when you feel feeling some type of way mentally so i needed you know i needed to get in a good place in my mind and in my heart before i brought y'all up uh with a bunch of foolishness you know i want y'all to be a part of my happiness and not all of my pain all the time because y'all already seen me through enough pain through enough trials and tribulations y'all don't see me overcome a lot of barriers and now i just want y'all to see me happy 
I know I can't be happy every day because it's just not humanly possible because we all have our bad days. We all have our sad days. Um, I just want it to be, I want to record on mostly happy days because I want to put out a positive uh, spirit, you know, a positive vibe to you guys. You know, I want to bring happiness to you guys too. And I want y'all to see all the things that I've been through. If y'all follow me on my other channel, Go Mouth 100. Um... I have a reason to smile, you know. I have a reason to smile. So, just going to cut this cantaloupe up in some little pieces here and try to get my eat on. How many of y'all eat y'all cantaloupes like this or do you cut them up in chunks? I want to cut them up in a few chunks and just go ahead and eat at the same time. And I want to start you know that this is my breakfast y'all i don't know what time y'all gonna be seeing this video but this right here is breakfast for me i am happy to be coming to y'all today with breakfast and i'm not sure how often i'm going to be posting videos on this channel but as time goes on y'all give me a little minute because i got to get my watch time up so i can start getting my channel monetized y'all that's like the best thing uh you know for for me for me right now is to get my channel monetized y'all know mm, uh, I ain't pray, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I gotta save my grapes. Okay. Um, and we're gonna be civilized, y'all, with the grapes and everything. So, I'm gonna try to. <laughs> okay, let me cut this in. I should have I started praying before I cut, right? It don't matter because I ain't ate nothing yet. Anyways, y'all, let's stop. Let's stop real quick. Let's pause and say our grapes, okay? God is great. God is good. Lord, I thank you for my food. By my hands, you my best friend. Thank you, Lord, for my daily bread. Amen. Lord, let this food be clean and pure and nourishing to my body. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Okay, you guys. Um, was that civilized? <laughs> I can bite it now. Okay. So, no, 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 no. Um, how many y'all eat salt on y'all cantaloupes, y'all? I just want to know. I ain't got no, I ain't got no, uh, no fork or nothing, y'all. Oh, that's all right. The, the ghetto, honey. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It actually tastes better today than it did yesterday. And I'm glad of that because yesterday it was kind of too hard. It's still a little bit firm, but it's, it's sweet. Mmm. Mmm-hmm. Perfect. I'm trying to move my plate back so y'all can see this juicy goodness up in here. Mm. Y'all, Miss, um, not Miss, the the YouTubers that I, a lot of YouTubers that I watch on a regular basis, they all went to Houston this past weekend. I felt so left out. I didn't know, I didn't know everybody was going, like, I didn't know it was going to be like a whole YouTuber thing. I wish I would have known, because I would have been trying to go too. I would have been. But it's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Look like they had a lot of fun. Yeah, and then you. Oh, let me tell you something. Another thing that kind of scared me about. It didn't scare me because I've been on YouTube for a long time, so I'm used to um. People throwing around negativity and stuff. Um. They got these other YouTube videos that pick on mukbangers, and I don't know why. Well, <laughs> I can't say I don't know why, because some of the stuff was actually funny, you know. But a lot of the stuff was actually true. But, hey, I didn't want to be in that video scheme. But, hey, it's, it's all good. I wish I, I want to be in one now. <laughs> but I feel like I've been through so much on them. Ain't nothing or nobody tell me down. Nothing. I feel like I cannot be defeated by what people say. Mm. I was cause the reason why I was stuck. I didn't know if I wanted to do ASMR or if I want to do mukbangs. I just I'm gonna cut my finger off. I um I just wanted to um. Because I was confused. Y'all y'all know I did them ASMRs a long time ago. I tried to make them like 
you know, with a little humor. But then I was like, I can't do that all the time. That takes too much of my effort. <laughs> because I, let me just let it flow naturally, girl. Mmm. Mmm. Is there anybody out there who put sugar or salt on the cantaloupe? I just wonder because when I was little, when I was a kid, I used to see people in my family put salt and sugar on the cantaloupe. But I used to, like, a while, a long time ago, some years ago, I would like to put a little bit of salt on my cantaloupe just because. But I was like, why? When it's sweet, I want it to, I want to taste the sweetness. So, mmm, that was there. I got my garbage bowl over here on the side. Oh, y'all, I do have my water, too, and my big old water jug. I put it on backwards. Whatever. <sighs> Woo! If y'all hear the babies in the background, I got Nivea and Coco in the other room, okay? So, just a warning. <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. This is good. It feels so good to eat something that's that's good for you, you know? Because I see a lot, a lot of mukbangs that I like to watch them, but it always makes me want to eat what they eat. And I know it's a lot of salt in them and a lot of stuff that I don't need to be eating. But whether you do it or not, the things you do publicly, publicly, like on YouTube platforms, or you're always an influence on somebody, whether you know it or not, whether you want to be or not, whether you you feel like you are or not, whether you say, I ain't a role model, you are, you really are. And sometimes I have to think about what I say, like if you guys didn't notice that I don't cuss as much as I be trying to cuss on YouTube like I used to, girl, because I would come on and tell somebody about the whole minute. <laughs> but, thank God I've changed my ways. I mean, I still might slip a word in every now and again, because it just sometimes it'd be needed. But, yeah, I don't want to be a role model, but it is what it is. If somebody feels if somebody see fit to imitate some of the things I do or to do the things that I do. Not do the things that I do, but, you know, if I influence somebody to do something, I want it to be something good or something healthy, okay? I really, I would really rather for it to be that way. I mean, that's not why I'm on here, but... At the end of the day, I had got my clipboard so y'all could see my fruit, but I think y'all can see my fruit just fine, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Y'all can see my fruit better now. Okay, so yeah, I want I want to be encouragement to you guys to go out and eat you some fruit and be great, you know. I'm happy. I'm in a happy place right now at this time in my life. Well, at this time in my videos, I don't know how to put it, but talking to you guys helped me so much. Like, y'all don't understand. Just y'all coming on my video, it helps me. Like, all the comments I'm able to I feel like I got somebody to talk to you know because in real life I don't have people to talk to I'm just sitting at home doing whatever and nobody to talk to I'm, I'm bored most of the time I put it like that I'm filling up my garbage bowl right now with the leftover cantaloupe oh I done ate three already girl this video ain't gonna be long at all let me drink some of my water I got thing on backwards, so I gotta go this way. <laughs> Cause I'm right-handed, so that's why I say it's on backwards. It's not backwards, but it's for the left-handed folk right now. <sighs> Whew. 
good refresh of water and a cantaloupe. Mm. Thou shalt not burp. Ooh, I almost did. Thou shalt not burp. Mm mm. It was disgusting. <laughs> Ooh. I mean, it's not disgusting, but it's disgusting when I see people do it on camera. So I know good and well I ain't finna do it. Mm mm. Don't cut your finger off, girl. I need my fingers, y'all. So. I got two more pieces left, y'all. Um, yeah. Oh, I ain't even discuss. I ain't talk about nothing, y'all. How many y'all still here? If any of y'all still here watching this video, comment down below. Water, water, water. W a t e r, water. I just that just let me know y'all still here. Y'all still in the building, and I still got y'all attention because. Um, on this channel, I'm really trying to get my minutes up so I can get this channel monetized so I can get paid. You know, I like my little little YouTube checks, y'all. They're small, but they're a blessing to me from God. And the only reason I get paid is because y'all watch. And, and I appreciate you guys watching. I love y'all. I love the support. I love the comments. Um, I like to know what you guys think about me all your opinions on my videos and anything that I'm doing. I appreciate that so much. I really, really do. I'm not just saying it. Mm. I'm not just saying it for clout, you know. I'm actually responding to y'all in my comment section, you know, because I feel like if I make, if I put these videos out there for you guys to watch and you go about you know, you take it upon yourself to watch me and comment. I feel like I should at least put in that much effort to comment back because I do this for y'all, okay? Mm. Oh, I got to change my battery. Oh, I done ate half of the piece that was on there, and I thought I was recording, and I was not. So, I'm just going to shave the rest of this here cantaloupe down. Get, I'm trying to get it all, child. I eat everything but the rind. I wonder if I got some more over there that, ain't, that got the rind on it. Y'all, cause I'm gonna cut that. I put my little teeth prints in. I tried to bite. Look like a little rat done been be biting on my cantaloupe, y'all. Yeah, I don't want this nab to hinder me from eating all of my juicy goodness and not cutting down in that meat for enough. Okay? Cause I'm trying to get it off. Mm. <laughs> for real, for real. I got another piece over there. See that? It got a little, got a thick little bottom. I get close to the rind. Until I be about to see green, girl. Ain't no wasting. Ain't no wasting no food up in this house. This cantaloupe cost three dollars. Yes, honey. I need to get all my three dollar worth up out of him. Okay. See, I still got it's still on. So don't worry. I ain't in the green part. Yes, I appreciate y'all comments. Most of y'all comments because the only way I'm gonna know y'all watch this video. I appreciate y'all views because I do the YouTube chicks do get based off of views. But those comments though, honey. Those comments give me life. Y'all let me know. Y'all see me. I'm out here, okay? Don't let me do this stuff here in vain, now. Nah. Ooh, child. She good with that knife, child. Oh, I got a little green right there. But it's all good up in the neighborhood, y'all. Mm. I should have had me a, um... I'm going back and get this cantaloupe. Mm. <laughs> the ghetto. Doom, 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 doom. Now, when you grow up in the hood, you didn't eat cantaloupe with no knife. But I'm trying to be... No worry, this knife ain't that sharp. I know it just hit my finger, child. I'm gonna cut it off. Yeah, so... You didn't eat cantaloupe with no knife. You just ate it straight out of the, the thing with your mouth and arm. I see that one, that one hard because it got that little green stuff on it. Yeah. That round will let you know when to stop, though. Mmm. I'm hoping I'm encouraging somebody today to go out and eat them some healthy fruit, okay? For real, for real. It took me a lot of thinking, a lot of debating what I want, what I want to do with this channel. Cause y'all know if y'all fought me for a long time, I said I was gonna delete it, and I don't want to delete my channel. I'm like, I can't delete it. I got a lot of hard work. I got a lot of minutes in. I got a lot of good time in. And 
I feel like I got something to give you guys. You know, I feel like I got a little bit. There's a little bit more to me than just go mouth. Okay. Well, no, I'm, I am go mouth, but <laughs> then just hair. Even though everybody eat, but anybody like me? <laughs> Who like me? Who out there like me? Huh? Nobody, sir. Show me one person on YouTube that's like me. One. Besides Kaya, y'all. <laughs> I'm not that wretched anymore. Okay. A lot of people used to compare me to Kaya. I'm like, Kaya, why? Maybe because of her teeth, child. Maybe because she got ragged teeth like me. <laughs> really? <laughs> Maybe, um, if you can't talk about your own self, you ain't gonna never be able to stand nobody else talking about you, okay? So you can't roast and gag on yourself and laugh. If somebody else do it, they gonna hurt your very soul, okay? So in order not to get hurt when somebody talk about you, is know your flaws, okay? You gotta know your flaws and own up to your flaws. That's the only way you're not gonna get hurt because when somebody talk about you, they gonna talk about all your flaws that they see and all the things that they assume and all the things that they see just by you coming on YouTube or just by you walking down the street or just from what they see on the outside, okay? If you can um, already accept your outside flaws, then can't nobody do nothing to you, okay? Nothing. Can't nobody talk you down. They can only talk on what they see, I mean. Mm. Woo, shy. Mm. And on as much information as you give them. My life is an open book, y'all. For real. Look at that bleeding. Ooh. Hey, y'all, guess what? Y'all remember I used to wear a wedding ring, y'all? Child. Somebody did ask me about a wedding ring in a video. You don't wear your ring no more. Where's that? Girl, me and my husband still together. My wedding ring, what happened was, I had got fat. I got fat and my wedding ring just got stuck on my finger one day. It was literally stuck and I was scared. It was stuck for about three days before I got it off. Off, off. I thought I was going to have to cut it because I gained so much weight after chemo and radiation um my wedding ring was like legit stuck on my finger and I was panicking for like I think it took me about four days to get that ring off with oil and water and oil and butter and grease and I was talking about it was stuck stuck I'm like oh god I gotta go to the emergency room and get it cut off how do you get it right who cuts who cuts wedding rings off I don't even know like where to even to begin to if you got a ring stuck on your finger what will happen ain't gonna no hospital just to get no ring cut off my finger and after then, I had like, this dent in my finger. And then, my, you know, after you wear a wedding ring for so long, it started to fade your skin up under them. It was it was scarred. It was scarred. There was a dent. There was a cut across the top of my finger. And I had to take it off and let it heal and get back right. And I haven't put on my wedding ring since, y'all. I mean, my wedding ring is just, it just is what it is. It's a ring. It don't mean, um... I'm not married just because I don't have it on. Them papers mean you married. <laughs> and I still got them papers, y'all. I got three more left, y'all. Who ain't got good? Mm. Okay. Woo. Okay. I don't know why I'm acting like this a lot. I'm, tri I'm tripping, y'all. Don't pay me no mind, y'all. I'm having fun. I'm living my best life right now. Eating this cantaloupe. <laughs> I'm trying to get the hang of this, y'all. So every every mukbang I do from here on out is going to be better and better. I'm going to be happier and happier, hopefully. <laughs> I'm going to try my best to remember to keep you guys engaged as long as y'all, as long as I can. You know, mm. I encourage y'all to go out and buy y'all some fruit today and eat it. <laughs> Not just buy it. I remember there was a time I was like, I'm going to eat this. And I do that a lot with my lettuce with my salads. 
I'm gonna eat my lettuce. I'm gonna eat salad. My salad died in the refrigerator every time, y'all. I gotta do better. Well, no, I, I am doing better. Back then, I used to be like, I gotta do better because I'm throwing away a bag of lettuce every week. But, I got something in your baby wipes, huh, y'all? I can get my hands washing stuff. But I appreciate y'all for hanging in there with me through this whole video right here and everything. Y'all already know, if y'all want to purchase one of these bunnets, this is a the blue and black zebra bunnet, zebra print bunnet. It's in the large size. It is also reversible underneath. It is black. You guys, I sell all of my bunnets and all the proceeds go towards my medical bills and, and for my cancer journey. You guys don't know my story. Stay tuned. Stay tuned to my channel. And um, one day you'll find out. If not, go over there and check out my other channel, Gold Mouth 100. Thank you guys so much for watching. I feel so happy today and blessed to be here. Blessed to be alive and well this morning. I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching and I'll see y'all in the next video. Deuces!